gospel reading today is called The Judgment of the Nations, and it is right before the beginning of the Passion narrative, just before the Last Supper in Matthew's gospel. Very important words. Jesus tells us about the Last Judgment. He gives us the questions that will be asked of each and every one of us. Lent is a time to open our hearts to God's abundant grace. And how do we do it? We do it with prayer and adoration. We do it with sacrifice. We do it with service and charity. One of the famous people who shows us to how to reach out to the poor and the hungry and the sick is Mother Teresa of Calcutta. She received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979. She wanted to work with the poorest of the poor. She felt that was her vocation. And many, many followed her footsteps. At the time of her death, there were 4,000 members of her community in 120 nations and 100,000 volunteers. And this is what she said about serving the poor. She said, we first start with prayer. The fruit of silence is prayer. The fruit of prayer is faith. The fruit of faith is love. The fruit of love is service. The fruit of service is peace. Each and every day, she and the members of her community and all the convents around the world would rise early and spend an hour of adoration in the chapel. So first there is prayer, there is encounter with the Lord Jesus, truly present, completely divine and human, his presence most tangible. And then Mother Teresa says, now they're ready to go into the streets to serve those who are dying, the abandoned, the sick. And she says, when we serve the poor and the hungry and the abandoned and the sick, we are serving Jesus in a different way. And that's what Jesus says. He says, whenever you do any of this, giving food to the hungry, water to the thirsty, clothing the naked, shelter to the homeless, he says, you do it to me. Remarkable words. What a great privilege then it is to serve those who are suffering. We are called during Lent to works of charity. So we could think about how that can happen in a big way, a little way, a small way. And Mother Teresa said we could start with the person next to us and see if they are in need, if there's something we could do for them So it's a beautiful way to open our hearts to God's divine grace, to give time to the Lord in the way of service, but first to base it in prayer. And she would go on to say that her work was not social work, but it was charity. It was from the heart. It was the work of love, the work of mercy from the heart. So in these days, let us grow together in prayerfulness and sacrificial way of service to those who are in need.